Hey guys, welcome back. Easter is in a couple days, so I thought I would share with you a really fun and easy last minute idea. I'm pretty old, and the only Easter's that I actually remember are a few of them where we had Easter egg riddle hunts. I don't remember any of the gifts I got. I never remember, you know, getting chocolates or baskets, but I vividly remember doing these little riddle hunts throughout my house. So when I became a mom, it's something that I wanted to implement. It's hiding little riddles inside plastic eggs that the kids have to solve to find out where to look for the next egg. And I've done this before, but I added a lot of new ones this year, and it's a free printable that you can download print off and use just in time for Easter. So here's how to quickly do an indoor Easter egg hunt. You print off these free printables, you cut them out, um, each riddle, and it'll say things like, I'm under the spot where you usually eat, pull out the chair and look under the seat. And maybe I'll tape one of these under there. So what you wanna do is take your riddle and put it inside a plastic egg. And usually I'll put like a couple of little eggs inside and I'll hide it, right? But I'll hide it only with a couple of these little chocolate eggs or lots if you have three children like I do, but only the plastic eggs have the riddles inside and one at each spot. So that's gonna take you to the next spot. So perhaps taped under the chair, I'll have another egg with another riddle inside. I'll just grab one here. It's cold in here with all this food, come find me and I'll lighten your mood. So this can either be in the freezer or the fridge, it's totally up to you. And again, it's just going to be this plastic egg with other chocolates or no chocolate, it can just be the clue and they're gonna race to the next spot. And what they're looking for is their final Easter basket, right? Or a pile of candy if you don't give Easter baskets at the very end. It's just a really fun little thing to do. So again, you're gonna have one riddle in each egg leading to the next hiding spot. Just make sure you actually put, so then you're gonna have to go put one in the fridge. So it'll be an, another one like, um, it's getting harder not to rush. Look in the room where you brush and flush. So a bathroom and then somewhere in the bathroom, there's going to be another riddle and um, some chocolate. Now I like to hide them pretty hard so they can't stumble upon them in the morning. They actually have to look. It makes it a little bit longer and it definitely makes it more fun. So I'd probably put this like behind the toilet maybe or under um, the bathroom sink, someplace where it's not just in plain sight. Also, I don't want the dog eating the little chocolate. So that's what you do. You take one plastic egg per clue and then hide them in every location. And at the end, in the last hiding spot is their basket. I thought I'd also share with you their Easter baskets this year and honestly I toned it way down. Everything that you see was actually purchased at Walmart. Abby's really into mermaids so I loved this little mermaid basket and I filled her basket with a lot of these sweet little princess toys that I found on clearance. She still is obsessed with princesses. I also added lots of different floral headbands and of course filled the bottom with chocolate. Izzy's getting older so she's kind of over toys so that llama I mean she loves llamas so I loved that one and I also gave her some fabric markers and a lot of plain white t-shirts so she can craft her heart's content. Milo, well, he's pretty easy. He's always asking for a watch. So I found this great light up LED watch. It's waterproof so he can wear it anywhere. I really think he's gonna love it. Just a simple pair of sunglasses. He loves Aquaman, so that was a find. And tons and tons of chocolate in the bottom. I also have lots of other chocolate that we're gonna hide throughout the house, but this year I definitely toned it down. I'm very excited about the hunt though, and I really think you guys should give it a try. It's such a great tradition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a really happy Easter and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So my kids are pretty much addicted to their tablet. Well, two out of the three are addicted to their tablet and we've tried so many different things to limit it. And it's always cries and it's always headaches and it's always, you know, begging and pleading and, and I'm bored. And so my husband came up with this idea a couple of days ago for popsicle sticks. So they earn popsicle sticks and every popsicle stick is 15 minutes 
for tablet time, but if they do cho a chore or if they do um, like learning something educational, they get two popsicle sticks. So, and if, if they just like do like read or draw a book, it's one for one. So, I mean, we're really trying to get them to do other things here. But instead of chores, they've really wanted to do the learning time. So it's not like actual homework from school, it's like homeschooling stuff. So teaching them, you know, I bought all these workbooks, all these homeschooling books from Amazon, a Hooked on Phonics for Milo, some science books for Abby, lots of math for Izzy. And then I have to kind of help individually one-on-one. -on -one. They don't seem to mind. If anything, they kind of love it and keep, they, it was like four hours straight of school today, after school. Mommy's done. My brain feels like mush. How do people homeschool? I'm just like, I was like, go watch your tablet. <laughs> I was like, mommy's done. School time. You can go watch it. You can watch it for free. You don't even have to pay me a popsicle stick. And they were like, no, let's keep learning. Which makes me a horrible mother, I know. But honestly, my brain, I want to kill everyone. Uh, I could never be a teacher. It, I'm, I guess maybe it's because I'm not smart enough. And I did forget how to do long division. So in one of their workbooks, it was like long division. And they're like, hey, can you help me? I'm getting stuck. I'm like, freaking don't know how to do long division. That fell out of my head like 27 years ago. It's just been a thing. And and Hooked on Phonics with Milo, where, I mean, it's the third kid I've had to teach to read. And the novelty is wearing off. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like... You just read that word on the last 700 pages. It's the same word, but then he's got to sound it out every single page. And, and I feel like, you know, like something's going to snap my blood vessels and my eyeballs are going to burst. And I'm just, I'm having a, <laughs> so it's nine. I need a glass of wine and I'm going to bed. And then tomorrow they're probably going to want to do it again. And it's great, isn't it? It's great that they want to learn. It's just, I have to embrace my role as the teacher, I guess. <sighs> I'll see you next time.